Hey guys, Ryan here. So today I'll be showcasing my PS4 game collection. Since it's the end of the PS4's game life cycle, um, basically I thought I would showcase all my PS4 games. Since the PS5 is out now, and it's the end of the life cycle for the PS4. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first game we got here is Uncharted The Lost Legacy. And this was supposed to be a shorter game, and it was like a DLC campaign. And it turned into a full 10 hour game, and Naughty Dog made it in like a year. And you got Chloe and Nadine, and Nadine was actually a villain in Uncharted 4. And yeah, this game is a lot of fun. It has more open areas to explore. And you have like a map, and there's like different areas you can explore and whatnot. And yeah, this game is a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend it if you're an Uncharted fan to check this one out. Because it's it's fantastic. Definitely a thumbs up from me. Alright, next we got is Uncharted 4 Thieves N. We got Nathan Drake, we got Sam, Sully, Nadine, Elena, Rafe. And yeah, this is the end of Nathan Drake's story. And this game is fantastic. I would say this is definitely my favorite PS4 game. It's a PS4 exclusive. And like all the Uncharted games. And yeah, like the gameplay, the story, everything about it, the multiplayer, that too. It may not be my favorite multiplayer. Um, not saying like it's bad, um, I think it's really fun, but I think the original Last of Us multiplayer, that is my favorite one. So yeah, we got the back, we got a pirate in a cage, just a skeleton pirate. And the still book is really nice. Alright, next we got is Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. And we got Drake's Fortune, Among Thieves, Drake's Deception. And I would have to say Among Thieves is my favorite out of these three. Like the pacing of that game was spot on and so good. And yeah, when I got this, I got a beta, a multiplayer beta to Uncharted 4, which is fun. And I actually won a free copy, a digital copy of Uncharted 4. But since I already owned it, I gave it away to somebody on Twitter. So yeah. And then we got Discover the Man and Cover a Legend. Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. And Uncharted 1, you're kind of on this one island. But Uncharted 2 and 3, you're going across the world on this adventure. And if you haven't played any Uncharted games, definitely start here. And you make your way through this. And then also Uncharted 4. And then Uncharted Lost Legacy. And I'd also even recommend the one on the Vita, Golden Abyss. That's great. That's a great game. One of the best Vita games. Anyways, next we got it's Raymond Legends. And this is definitely like a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm surprised there hasn't been a sequel to this game because it's so good. And it's a 2D platformer. And the music levels are awesome in this. And it's so much fun playing this with co-op or by yourself, it's it's fantastic. I would highly recommend it. And you can play it on a bunch of different systems and whatnot. All right, next we got is Gry Rush Remastered, and this was made by Bluepoint Games. And yeah, this was originally a Vita game, and the gameplay is super unique. You have gravity powers. You're like going to different areas. Like there's like a, a town called Hexleville, and you like wake up without any memory of who you are or what you are. And yeah, there's like this cat named Dusty there. And you have gravity powers and you be a hero basically. And yeah, I like Sid, Raven, to name a few of the characters. And the cutscenes are done through like a comic book style, which is cool. And yeah, the music is fantastic. I really enjoy Gravity Rush. And then they made a sequel called Gravity Rush 2. And yeah, this game came out a few years ago. And yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite games on the PS4. You really feel like a superhero on this with all your different gravity powers. And we got Raven and Cat here. And this is an awesome cover. And yeah, manipulate gravity and soar the skies in an open world. So yeah, I love the music, the characters, the story, the powers. It's great. I would highly recommend Gravity Rush, 
1 and Gryrush 2, and hopefully we get a Gryrush 3 on the PS5. Here's hoping. Alright, next we got is Horizon Zero Dawn, the complete edition. And this game is fantastic. It's done by Guerrilla Games. And, yeah. You have a great main character. And there's going to be a sequel to this. So that'll be awesome. And Guerrilla Games made the Killzone games, which are like first-person shooter kind of games. But this is like a third-person action adventure. So it's really cool seeing them make something completely different. Just like Sucker Punch recently did. Alright, next we got is Lego Harry Potter of the collection. We got years 1 through 4 and then 5 through 7. These are two different games remastered for the PS4. And yeah, this is a, a really fun package. And yeah, got remastered. It's like the only remastered Lego games that we have, surprisingly. And I really enjoy it. The music is great, it's from the movies. The comedy is spot on. I'm really excited personally for. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga to come out next year. That'll be awesome and hopefully we get a co-op for that. Like an online co-op. Like we've always had couch co-op but like we definitely need an online co-op for Lego games. A magical journey through all seven years of Harry Potter adventures. Yeah I love Harry Potter and Lego Harry Potter's a bunch of fun. Alright next we got is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and this recreates Dragon Ball Z's moments really well. And yeah, it's it's great, and it's a lot of fun, for sure. And yeah, it's like kind of like a fighter. And you have like side quests that you can do, and then semi open world. And yeah, if you like Dragon Ball, definitely check this game out. All right, next we got is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And this is a fantastic Star Wars game. And yeah, the, um, the action is great, the story is great, the gameplay is great. Everything about this is solid. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. The boss fights are cool. Become a Jedi. You can like customize your lightsaber to how you want, which is pretty dope. All right, next we got is Borderlands 3. And this is the latest Borderlands game, and this is my favorite first-person shooter game, and favorite first-person shooter game series as well. And yeah, I like how reflective this is. And yeah, there's like a grenade, different weapons. And then we got the back. Make some mayhem with friends. And I can't wait to play this on the PS5 with 4K, 60 frames. That'll be fun. Alright, next we got is Borderlands The Handsome Collection. And yeah, this is Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. We didn't get Borderlands 1 in this package, but um, on the Switch you can actually get Borderlands The Collection, which comes with 1, 2, and the Pre-Sequel. So that's an awesome deal. Definitely get on that if you can. And Definitive Mayhem Remastered. So yeah, it's a lot of fun playing with friends, getting loot. It's a looter shooter. So it's known for that, having like a million guns or something. I think that was like a thing for Borderlands 3. Next we got is Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. And this gameplay is fantastic. Like this was definitely my game of the year when this came out. I got the day one edition. I played like the Ground Zeroes demo for that originally. And we got Snake here. It's like tact tactical espionage. You know, you're like trying to be stealthy and everything, all for revenge. And yeah, it's done by the director Hideo Kojima. He's very well known in the gaming industry. And yeah, it's really fun building up Mother Base, going on missions, recruiting new troops. And yeah, next we got is Kingdom Hearts 3. And yeah, this is the latest Kingdom Hearts game. And this game is a lot of fun. I really like how it combines Disney characters and anime characters. And yeah, I definitely need to go back and play the other Kingdom Hearts games. Like there's a bunch to play, which is great. And you can go to different areas like the Toy Story area, Big Hero 6, um, Tangled, Frozen, to name a few. Pirates of the Caribbean, that's a favorite of mine. Because I love those movies. And yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3 is great. 
All right, next we got is Final Fantasy 15. And yeah, this is a Steelbook edition. And it's beautiful. And this comes with a movie, King's Glaive with Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad as the hero. And you're going around as Noctis the Prince with his friends and allies and with your bros, hanging out with your bros. And it's a good time. All right, next we got is Persona 5. And this is stylish and awesome. And there's a manga for this now. We're getting like Persona 5 Strikers, I believe it's called. We got like a full edition for this, whatever it's called. And yeah, this still book is great. I got the Take Your Heart edition for when this came out. And yeah, this still book is one of the best still books I have. And the music is spot on, the gameplay is super fun. And yeah, next we got Is The Last of Us Part 2. And I have yet to play this. Um, yeah, I really love the original Last of Us, but um, yeah, I definitely need to put some time into this. We got Ellie, and then I believe her name is Abby. And you get two different discs, so pretty big game from that. Games seem to be getting bigger and bigger with their file size, like Call of Duty, for example. And yeah, hopefully this is, is good. The opinions are definitely mixed, to say the least. All right, next we got is Tomb Raider, the Definitive Edition. We got Lara Croft, and this game is awesome. It builds off Uncharted, builds off the first Tomb Raider games, and it's a third-person shooter, and you're stuck on this island trying to survive with your friends. Well, you have to find your friends, really. They're not really with you too much. But, um, yeah, the gameplay is a lot of fun with the, the bow and arrow. And yeah, there's like a multiplayer for this. Not in the Definitive Edition though, because this came out on the PS3 and then got remastered for the PS4. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. But my favorite Tomb Raider game would have to be Rise of the Tomb Raider, the 20 year celebration. And yeah, I can open this, take it off. And yeah, and then we have the art book here, which is great seeing different depictions of Lara Croft. And I really enjoy Tomb Raider. It's fantastic. It's also Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is like the worst one in the series, but still a fun game nonetheless. And yeah, that's Tomb Raider. Next we got is a game my friend Paul gave me. Thanks, Paul. Shout out to you, man. Um, yeah, God of War. This looks like a lot of fun. Um, I haven't played it yet. I definitely will. And yeah, it's definitely going to be different from the other God of War games, from what I've heard. And yeah, I can't wait to jump into this. It looks epic and action-packed. All right, next we got is Little Big Planet 3 Day One Edition, and this came with Sackboy. And yeah, um, I can't wait to play Sackboy: Big Adventure. And I love the create, play, share mentality in these games. And yeah, I can't wait to play the new LBP game on the PS5. And you can play the, the first and second levels of Little Big Planet in Little Big Planet 3, so that's a plus. Alright, next we got is No Man's Sky. And this is also a VR game, and they kept updating this game, and they made it a solid game. So I would definitely recommend it if you're interested. And yeah, that's all my PS4 games. Hope you guys enjoyed. I think my favorite would have to be Uncharted 4, then Grad Rush 2 as a as a lead up, as a runner up. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. And yeah, this was fun making this video now that the PS4's life cycle is over and now we're on PS5. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Until next time. Peace.